If you love the movies that bring you to tears or you consider yourself an emotional stronghold and want to prove it, well, we found five emotional and sentimental scenes in a lesbian movie or series. This is The Pride Diaries by Mars T, giving you update of what's happening in the queer entertainment because representation matters. Poppins, your day off. Here's Danny and Jamie from The Hunting of Bly Manor. This is the scene where Danny becomes the lady in the lake. Danny tries living life as much as she can, building a home with Jamie and working with her in the flower shop. But as time goes by, she sees Viola's face more and more. Do you see her? I only see you. She's drawn to water, losing hours as she stares at its surface. Eventually, it becomes too much and she returns to Bly. I swear. She's there. This is where Jamie tries to go and stop her, but she's just too late. You, me, us, us. <sighs> Who can ever forget Pauline and Victoria from Lost and Delirious? Pauline falls in love with her roommate Victoria. Polly deeply loves Victoria or Tori as much as a teenager girl can. We simply add half of the linear. Polly was devastated and suddenly their pure love destroyed as Victoria's sister caught them in bed together. Ben, relax. She'll get over it. You don't know, Allison. Okay, she'll go hysterical. She's gonna go straight to mom and dad. The end of the story is very sad. As Mary runs out of the trees in tears, reading one last line from Shakespeare, Polly addressed her school, her teachers, and Tori one last time. And call upon my soul within the house. I rush into the secret house. Polly flew away to her secret house from atop the rooftop. The look on Tori's face summed up every true feeling inside of her. Her tears were still and her words non-existent. A shock and sadness choked her with the loss of her true love. I won't remember anything else. This is what Rachel told Luz during their breakup scene on the movie Imagine Me and You. You're wet. I'm fine. And you're cold. I'm fine. You can have it. As Luz doesn't want to jeopardize Rachel's marriage, she tried to be there as a friend, so they spend a lot of time together. Oh. I can't push it out against my hand. Rachel one night acts on her attraction and tries to kiss Luz, but backs away. Luz and Rachel decided to go their separate ways, not wanting to break up the marriage. Don't forget me. I won't remember anything else. Villanelle and Eve from Killing Eve, the bridge scene. Although Killing Eve ended its season with such a heartbreaking scene where Eve was so devastated with Villanelle's death, the bridge scene in season 3 finale believed to be one of the most emotional scene ever in a lesbian series. Now we walk and we never look back. But Both Villanelle and Eve spent a much needed conversation where both women shared how they affected each other emotionally and physically. You were never like them. You only thought you were. No. I had a life. It was when Eve confessed to Villanelle that whenever she tries to think of the future, she sees her face. When I try and think of my future, I just see your face over and over again. Villanelle smiles at her and assuredly replies, it's a very beautiful face. <gasps> and of course, this emotional scene from Carol and Therese from the Carol movie. 
This is such an emotional scene from the movie where Carol undeniably tells Therese for the first time that she loves her. I love you. Upon hearing those words, Therese trying so hard to fight back her tears as she still and really loves Carol. Carol's eyes were full of emotion saying those words. She knew even from the first moment she laid eyes on Therese that this girl will be a part of her life. Want more queer content? Then please subscribe and hit the notification bell.